actually got just a few features left. Looks like he's rounding off that front edge of the model. Look at how that fillet just rounded all the way across there. And now, what does he have? He's just got that back stepped area. But the thing is, Ex Machina's already got that stepped area done. So if Ex Machina can just get in there and get those slats in place, he'll be able to secure the win here. But uh, we saw last time, James is able to move pretty fast, especially in those last couple of feet. So here's a question for you. Which is faster, a sketch pattern or a feature pattern? Well, in the previous battle in this matchup, we saw Ex Machina create some geometry using a feature pattern, and we saw James create some geometry using a sketch pattern. And spoiler alert, in this upcoming battle that we're about to watch, we're gonna see the same thing. One of our runners is gonna create the geometry using a sketch pattern, and one of our runners is gonna create the geometry using a feature pattern. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this model, what you think about this battle, and be sure to come back and join us for the next CAD vs. CAD battle. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But don't worry, guys. We're going to see these guys running again here in just a moment. And I'm very excited to see how they do in the second battle. So here we go. Let's turn to the Wheel of Fate and let's see what she delivers us. We're giving this thing a spin. We're giving this thing a spin. And it looks like we're going to end up with model number. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Model number five. Uh, this is this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much to the Wheel of Fate. And uh, Harmo Mixer 20 says, I have no idea what this event is about, but I love this energy. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Welcome. Well, stick around. You're about to see. You're about to see some cra something crazy. You're about to see some serious stuff as Dr. Emmett Brown is so famous for saying. Here we go, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys are enjoying this live stream, hit the like button. And let's get into it here. The Wheel of Fate has spoken. We're going to see drawing number five. Ex Machina from Greece using a Libre going up against James from Australia using On Shape. This next CAD vs. CAD battle begins in three, two, one. Go! What is the mass of this part in x.xx pounds? We got one that's in inches and pounds. You can see the unit system in the title block is IPS. We can see here that the material is red oak, so it's a good thing they had a chance to make sure they had that material. And we see that this model has a tolerance of plus or minus 0.2 pounds. Let's flip over to this CAD versus CAD battle. Both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture of this battle. Both of our runners are anxiously getting through this battle. Whoops, looks like we're missing the chat down here at the bottom. That's not good. You gotta be able to see when our runners come in with their answers. There we go. Probably missed that in the last one. And thank you so much to Rockcrawler for coming in with that uh, with that membership for joining the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. Okay, and Sebastian says wrong screen. Thank you. All right. Guys, here we go. Ex Machina on the left already created a... Uh, uh, he took a screen capture of that drawing. We had the wrong screen show in there for a second. Already took a screen capture of that drawing. Turned that, uh, turned that slot into an extrusion and is now moving on to his second feature. James on the right using on shape. Created that slot shape. Created the wall thickness. And now we see just like in the last competition, James is going through and creating some of the layout geometry for this grill. This model is called Wood Grill. You can see some of the features of this model is that it's kind of like a slotted shape it's got a rounded off front edge and then it's got some uh grills some slats sticking through it to kind of act as the grill and then on the back side of this model there's a little stepped area so it's got a uniform uh wall on the inside but on the outside there's a little stepped area so that it can fit into its mating component so a very common type of a component you would see in manufacturing we've shown these runners the 2d print now these two runners are trying to race each other to see who can calculate the mass faster and wow, what a battle here. We see both of them kind of started out the same way. Ex Machina created that slot, uh, created that solid shape first, then decided to hollow it out. James on the right is creating kind of the hollow shape first. But we noticed this uh, last time as well. James seems to prefer to create as much layout geometry as he can to get started. And then he goes through afterwards and uh, finishes out with the solid geometry. So James getting in here using sketch pattern. We saw him use sketch pattern on the last one as well. 
and uh, specifying the the spacing here in on shape. I love how in on shape those grips just come up for you right away. Trying to figure out what the appropriate spacing is for this using some basic arithmetic. I like it. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.375. I like it. I like it. Getting this thing all spaced out, getting it located there on the right. Meanwhile, on the left, we see that Ex Machina now has created the thin wall kind of shell for this thing, has created the stepped area in the back of this thing. You see it on the far left of his screen. And so the only thing really left for Ex Machina now is to Machina now is to figure out how to add in those slots but no, notice that we've got James here on the left he's going to be extruding and getting those slots in there as part of that extrusion he's going to have that ready to go for his second extrusion so this is going to be really interesting here I love how our users can start out with you know either creating the entire model or creating the model one feature at a time but can kind of end up at the same spot almost at the same time it really goes to show the power of using different design techniques so James on the right using on shape, creating that extrusion there for those slats, starting with an offset so he doesn't have to create a plane because those slats are kind of offset into the model a bit. Very nice, very nicely done there. I love that uh, extrude with offset function in on shape. Look at that. Now he's already got the main shape. He's already got those slats running around the outside. It looks like he's only got just a few features left. Looks like he's rounding off that front edge of the model. Look at how that fillet just rounded all the way across there. And now, what does he have? He's just got that back stepped area. But the thing is, Ex Machina's already got that stepped area done. So if Ex Machina can just get in there and get those slats in place, he'll be able to secure the win here. But uh, we saw last time James is able to move pretty fast, especially in those last couple of features. In the chat, we see Jim Yu saying, Go, James, go. Uh, guys, I think we're going to see an answer coming in here into the chat at any moment. We see X Machina on the left finishing up that pattern. He's going to have that pattern in there pretty soon. We're watching the chat. James comes into the chat with an answer. 1.37 pounds. And that is correct. And wow, wow, wow. X Machina, 1.36 pounds. This thing has a tolerance of plus or minus 0.02 pounds. So X Machina would have been within tolerance with that answer. Wow, so close. Well done, my friends. 1.37 pounds is correct. I just want to point out again that the tolerance on this thing is plus or minus 0.02. So Ex Machina would have had it. That 1.36 pounds answer that he submitted would have been within tolerance. And it came in just a few moments after James. Wow, wow, wow. What a battle. Congratulations, guys. That puts you both at one point. One point each. This next point is going to determine who will move on to our round of four. What a CAD battle there. That was awesome, guys. Good job. Really cool model, really fun model. Glad you guys got to try that one out. I thought that one was a lot of fun. And guys, let's put a GG in the chat for James. GG James, well done, my friend. And now, Zhao says now it's time for a tier eight model. Well, that's not up to me, Zhao. That is up to the wheel of fate.